Welcome to the Edhocracy Show. On today's show... Winter's here. And people have to make the most of it. So they get artistic! We'll be right back. And welcome back. I'm J.D. Melvin. And I'm David Landine. And welcome to the Edhocracy Show, where every week we celebrate advertising, marketing, art, and design. And if you were here for the first time, welcome. We're glad you're here. Uh, if you would, just click the like and subscribe button below us. Uh, that helps us out and uh, also notifies you that every new episode that we have, which is Monday, you will get a notification on that. That was a really roundabout way of saying that. I wanted to say it as roundabout as I could. Do you announce this round? <laughs> a snowman. <laughs> Speaking of transitions, if Calvin and Hobbes has taught us anything, it is that... We can do better when it comes to snow art. I mean, three balls stacked on top of each other. Come on, we are better than that, people. So today, we're going to discuss the people who are better than that. Yeah, so really we want to give you some ideas of, of what you can do with snow and uh, go beyond um, just the just making a little snowman. I mean, there was once that I used my face and just pushed it into snow, and uh, it was like one of you, those little pin art now things, you, you know? Now, you chose, to, it wasn't like some bully that was like... Eat no. snow! <laughs> Eat snow! And then I got up as I'm crying and I looked at the tears. And... No, it's kind of cool because like it, get, it had my glasses and you can open your mouth and, uh, and it's like... Oh, yeah, you it, can do expressions. It's yeah. cool. Now that's just one idea one if I, you want. There you go. Whether it's by choice or forcibly. You can call it snow art. <laughs> All right. Now anybody can go on the interwebs, the Google, as they say. They don't, but... Uh, and type in snow sculptures and you'll get just this page after page of amazing, amazing snow sculptures. But we're thinking, we want to give you ideas that you might actually be able to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and first off, we want to show you just a couple of, a couple little ones like this one. Glasses. I, I mean, I love glasses. I wear them all the time. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, what I love about this is how they used their surroundings. Yeah. You know, a, a lamppost and it, the way it curves and it looks, it, I mean, it looks perfect. It's so cool. I mean, somebody just walked in that shape and... Added a little, I like that they add like the little uh, edge. Kind of a little like. Give it some depth. Yeah. Yeah. And there you have a lamppost. I mean, using them around. Here's another example. Um, they saw this, made a guitar. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I don't know if you have anywhere near you that has this design with the with the stripes. And the but weird hex. I guess technically it's probably a bass because it only has four strings. True. They made a bass. They made a bass. Bass guitar. Yeah. Um, and then maybe even de de uh, delving a little bit further into, um, this is artist Mak uh, Makoto Azuma, and uh, he's taken his art to freezing flowers. And I, I've seen different arts like this, especially because uh, we own a flower shop, um, people doing different types of art and using flowers in unique ways. But you could freeze something, you could, you could freeze fruit, you could freeze flowers you can freeze anything in in ice and make well, it not nice anything cool. well sure you can whether it's going to be functional afterwards <laughs> is... it's true <laughs> don't freeze your cat all right it might look really cool but i don't know if you would want that <laughs> uh and then and then we get people that really really think outside the box i mean and when i say outside i mean like outside this is this is, I'll let you talk about this one, David, because this is one that you that you discovered. So this is uh, Jim Denovan, and he has done some incredible art um, in sand. That that's sort of his typical medium. But he took to um, the Serbian uh, lake uh, Baikal and uh, did this little piece of um, art. You know, it's the the golden ratio. It's kind of the the, the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. And the crop circles. It's incredible, like how on what scale he does that. And he does that by walking. Maybe I. I, uh... I think. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. So when you go out and shovel your driveway, don't think about like just getting the snow off. Think about doing something creative, like Jim. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I, I even have, uh, we can even show this, um, my brothers posted, uh, they have a little video that they did of, it was a time lapse of them doing the snow, like there just you, clearing snow, and it was art. Go write um, words in your neighbor's driveway and call it service. <laughs> Unless those are bad words, and then it's not That's service. That's why I said words. I wasn't thinking bad words necessarily. 
blame it on somebody else though. Um, here's here's one that we have here in Utah, which are the ice castles. Yeah, and these these are in a couple different lo locations across um, the U.S. and it looks like um, Canada as well. Um, but ice castles, this is kind of a newer thing, and um, they they have these just beautiful sculptures that they make out of ice. Um, I still say there's got to be some liability there. I mean, did you see those? Those icicles are huge, and they could fall on you, and you could get impaled. Daily, thousands of icicles are placed by our artisans in freezing temperatures. I think it says that it collects up to like 40,000 like pounds of ice. It's just incredible. That is unbelievable. It's gorgeous though. I mean, they really have embraced <laughs> winter and that's awesome. It's worth the danger of being impelled by an icicle. I'm fine with that. Yeah. You probably sign a non, or a waiver. Yeah. Um, liability waiver. Mm -hmm. oh, it's beautiful. I know. I need to go to all these. So ice castles. I mean, you can, when you were a kid, you could build like igloos, you can build like forts and other things. I mean, why not an ice castle? Use a little bit of ice, a little bit of water up in there. Yeah. And I mean, it has to be cold enough. There's probably a lot of our audience that can do Those that. Those in Mexico, you're, you're in it for a good treat. Yeah. Um, the last one, well, one of the last ones that we have is uh, very similar to Jim, but this is Simon. Um, he is a snow a, a snow sculpture. <laughs> a, a That's my favorite kind of snow. <laughs> a, sn a snow artist um, who let it snow, let it snow. Some, some amazing, uh, very similar to Jim, but he his designs are so intricate. Here's a time lapse that he has. That he, oh geez, I mean, and he does it all by walking. That's a that's that's a massive guilloche pattern. No, he does. Watch this one. This is so cool. It's just walking around. Yeah, and he finds these massive pieces of land. We have a lot of it here in Utah. He sends a lot of them here in Utah. And just I mean, look, hey, let's let's do a wolf. Let's let's do a leaf. And it's amazing. I wonder what his Fitbit tracker looks like at the end of one of these. <laughs> <laughs> this one's really cool. They do it because here's the time lapse, but also, I mean, like when night comes, he keeps going. And sun is going down, and light gets turned on. Whoa, look. Love hexagons. I know. And they're gonna beehive up in here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he's singing as he's walking around. Beehive! So, um, and then there's just one other that I want to talk about. Uh, it's, a, it's a lady who does uh, ice sculptures. Um, and let's see. Ice sculptures. Yeah, she's really amazing. I mean, uh, let's see. All right, so it's this lady who does these amazing ice sculptures. She's okay. done um, stuff with fountains. She's done uh, stuff with snowmen. Um, and then she has this really, really amazing one where she does this castle. And, I mean, it has stairs. It's, it's pretty awesome. Huh. Um, and it's just her by herself. Yeah, she did it all by herself. She doesn't uh, have any help. No, not, I mean, really, it's... Oh, I won with the wind and sky. Ah, it's, it's Elsa. Elsa. I, I see what you did. You see that? Snow and ice. Snow and, and the other castle. And the castle and, yeah, all by herself. All, okay. All by lonesome. <laughs> I see what she did there. Well, uh, have you seen any art out there that uh, you're impressed with? Have you seen uh, any sculpturing or things that you can do with the, the snow or ice that, yeah. uh, that you really enjoy doing? I mean, it's okay if you just do... A, typ a, a typical snowman, but try and get a little creative this year. Use a little, like, I, you know, food coloring in, in, some, in a spray bottle. Yeah, Color them up. Comment below on what you do to make your snow sculptures extra special. Yeah, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And for your fun fact, fake fact of the day, mm -hmm. if you subscribe to our video, just down here below, 
the big kids won't come and knock down your snowman or snow art like they usually do. And then the next day you come out and you're like crying or weeping because I'm a man now because I don't cry. And, and your mom's like, it's okay because, you know, you can just build it back up. And then so you build it back up. And then you take precautions by building like a fort around it. And you have the ice balls that you dipped in, wa in water so that you can throw them at the bullies. But they still come knock you down. And then they knock down your heart. And then, I, you know, I'm just... That won't happen. Just, just subscribe. Hey.